In this video, I will show you how to be able to find infinite loops inside your JavaScript code. So sometimes it happens that when you are writing your code and so on and trying to interact with different elements inside your UI, you click on an element and then your UI suddenly stops or froze. And you now are aware that there is some infinite loop inside your code, but you don't know where it is. So in this video, we will see the technique to be able to find exactly where this infinite loop is happening. So I created just a small example application and it has a button called infinite loop ledger. And there is another button and just some text to show when the interactivity stops. And when we click on the infinite loop danger button, we will go to the code that executes everything. We will see just it has a set timeout and it executes a function called do stuff inside an infinite loop. And it's very explicit just to know, okay, this is exactly an infinite loop. But in your code base, you don't know where exactly it is. So how is the technique we should do it? So first thing, we just open it inside like, a, not like open the website and we open our div tools. And we go to the performance tab and the performance tab inside the div tools it just shows to you how the code behaves exactly inside your in the browser like what functions executes and what functions calls another functions and what events happens and so on so it basically shows you everything inside your code base how it happens in life when you click on it so the first step or the zero step is to try to find the cause for the infinite loop or what is causing the infinite loop like is it a click on the button or an api call or something but it's some some action here not inside the code but just the action here so this is the first step so we know that it's from the infinite loop button first thing we do is just press record here inside the performance tab and we'll start like recording the different things that happen inside like when i scroll or click button and so on so when i click on the infinite loop button i see that the interactivity stops so if i click on another button it doesn't like showing any, inter any interactivity when i try to like highlight this ticket doesn't work and so on so now we see like the infinite loop stuff so after it now is buffering i will click stop and we'll try to see where it is happening but when i click stop it doesn't process so what i should do is just open the activity monitor and then find the highest executed google chrome tab and it usually has the highest cpu in activity monitor and then just close it this is in macbook if you have windows you would just go to task manager and i think there is all of course like something in linux as well every like every operating system has this uh, like task manager to see what are the process happening and basically you need to find the highest cpu process that is being executed and just kill it after we kill it we just do a refresh to our tab here and then it would show to you like the different processes like we said and you would see there is a very long process here it takes a long time i would just click over it and it would show to me where it is happening inside my code base so it would say it's like say okay it happens in button.js line 6 so if i go to button.js line 6 i would see oh there is here yes it's inside the do stuff part so now i know where it is exactly happening and you need to make sure of course that you have map like you have code mapping like if you are using webpack for example you need to enable ma uh, like dot map files to be available so you'll be able to see exactly where it is happening inside the files but now we see where it is happening inside our file and now we could stop it so what we see here this is what i call like it's a long executed function and it is basically just stopping this is one pattern to see the infinite loop another pattern it's called like multiple i call it like multiple inverse pyramids and i could show it to you as well so i have another code and it would do the exact patterns that i am saying about so it just executes the do stuff and the do stuff uh, calls like set time out and then calls the function again the process button uh, function again and this basic like process button would call it like being called and then calls do stuff and do stuff calls process button and the same again and again this usually happen when you have watcher on props and then watchers are like 
are firing an event and then this event is changing the prop again this is one example of what, uh, like when it happens like in real life but we just like do it here just to see the pattern and what i'm going to do is just remove this performance log and i would start a new log again i would click on uh, oh sorry i need to refresh the page first because we need to get the new code so now we clear the logs we we'll start recording and then we click on the infinite loop danger and after we click we click stop it will start profiling i i put some explicit things inside the set time i was just to not like overwork my machine for now because i'm also recording but usually it would stop your machine so you need to do like the same step you need to record and then open the task manager or activity monitor kill the application and then do the refresh and now we see the in multiple inverse pyramid you would see here like multiple function and they are the same you would see okay there is do stuff here and if i go to this one you would see oh it's do stuff again and if you go a little bit in time maybe we need to yes like if we go further again if we open oh yeah it's do stuff again it's the same function and now we need to start reading your code like okay the anonymous function is being secured and then the process button and then do stuff and then the anonymous is being called again and now we need to make sense of what you see from the like from debugging the performance tab and now we know oh it's just that like do stuff and then perform the uh, process button and it's doing the same like each one is calling each other and you would know where it is happening inside your file from this part and yeah this is the technique to be able to find infinite loops in javascript files so if you like this video uh, please like and share and subscribe to the channel for future techniques and experience video in javascript and yeah see you in the next video ciao